Hey, what's guys? Go back to my channel. It's me, and yeah. So, in this video, we're doing a review on the Let's Shore Z12. This is a Zeo's collaborated uh, IEM. I don't think he handmade this. I think he um, uh, decides what it sounds like. So, yeah, this is what it looks like up close. Let's see right here. Look at the black and the gold. Build quality. This is made out of metal, as you could hear. Uh, but since it's made out of metal, you can see the scratches. They're pretty visible, especially the places where it's not painted. You see right there. Even in the black, you could see some scratches. I'm not sure if the not sure if um yeah the camera will pick it up. But uh yeah, if you don't like that, I don't know. Don't get this. Uh, so cable. This is a uh, silver cable. I'm not going to go specifically <laughs> what, oh, it's a copper cable coated with, I, I, I don't know nothing about that. So yeah, silver, ca silver cable, silver cable, uh, it's, it, there's, there's some shine, you know, there's like sparkles around, I'm not sure if the camera will pick it up, but, uh, yeah, it's five feet, I don't really like that. Uh, when you're on the go, it's, you know, it's okay, it's fine, but when you're in your desktop, it's like, ah, uh, man, this is pretty short, because, you know, I usually buy my cables six feet. Especially with uh, the heart audio right here. I got I got these cables, so... Yeah, really short. With my heart audio, you know, oh, everything's in reach. But uh, with this, it's five feet. Sometimes my brain gets used to six feet, and I'm like, oh, I can reach anything. But with this one, it's like, nope, not enough. So um, that's the only thing that is annoying. Um, I keep getting this messed up. <laughs> uh, another thing, the tip. You can actually switch it. You can switch it with any other tip. It comes with the... Uh, oh, man. Here's one. That's the one dropped. Yeah, so... It is a 2.5 millimeter, and this is a 4.4 millimeter. And this is a balanced one, so... If your amp has a balanced output, it's pretty good. That's It's pretty good. Convenient. Um, If you don't have a 4.4, but maybe a, a, a... What's it called? An XLR 4 pin, you can always get an adapter... 4 before two, four pin. So yeah, pretty useful. But I usually use the 3.5. So yeah. Uh, the straps, this is uh, made out of leather. Okay, so in Hi-Fi Go, there's an option to buy it with it. But I bought this at Amazon, I was like, oh, I might as well buy it. You know, why, why would it, you know, come with it unless it's very useful? So, uh, yeah, it's made out of leather. The camera can focus. This is, it's this thin. It's as thick as the cable. Uh, yeah, this is like this is supposed to be a neck strap for when you go out with your IEM. Um, I don't really like it. <laughs> um, I think this is supposed to be, you know, on-the-go IEM. You know, oh, you could take your IEM anywhere, and, you know, you it won't drop to the floor and all that. What I do with IEMs, with cables... I usually I usually just put it underneath my shirt. That's it. That, that's that's a perfect neck strap. So I don't really see it as you know useful. So would I recommend this? I don't know. I I don't think so. I, if you, I guess if you really want it, I guess um I kind of use it when I'm in my desktop. But when I'm on the go, like I said, I just put it underneath my shirt. That's it. So yeah, I don't really recommend this. You know. So um yeah. Oh, another thing. You see this? It sheds. It, it gets everywhere in your mouse pad right here. Look at this. Uh, let me actually, let me get it up close. Uh, it's pretty tiny. You see all that? You see that? See that? See that? See that? Uh, that's all I can see. Yeah, they're very, they're very small, so you can't really see it. The camera doesn't pick it up, but in my eyes, I can see it, and it's annoying. I gotta clean all this. So, uh, yeah. Don't really recommend it unless you really want it for some reason. Um, but yeah. Now let's talk about the sound, the most important part. So these IEM, they're they're more of a high and low type of uh, sound signature. Uh, but for me, depending on the amp, they sound really good, almost as good as headphones. Um, now, 
my opinions about IMs are probably not as valid as other reviewers. You know, like I don't got like 30 IMs available on me right now or any of the newer ones. You know, I, I, the companies aren't begging me to review things like Z. But, um, yeah, don't have too much experience. But for me, this sounds really good. Um, just depending on the amp, you know. The amps I'm using is a uh, Rebel, a uh, TH, triple A 789s. And XUO Plus, XUO 05 Plus. The best amp that I've used it on that sounds the best is actually the XDuo. Um, other amps, like the uh, Rebel I have, it's a Black Edition. Uh, they sound good, but the potential, but like in the Rebel, it kind of like shaves off or dampens the highs, you know, it's like, yeah, sure, it sounds bassy, but, you know, it, it's it's just like, all right, it's, it's a bass head headphone now. So, because, you know, it, it shaves off the highs, you know, the vocals aren't as crisp and as, you know, um, detail as in the um, X-Duos. I think the X-Duos, it sounds amazing here. Um, I did swap op amps, so... It's it, it's not going to sound good, or I don't know. I never tried it without the op amp, but I use the Burson uh, 5D, I think that's what it's called, but uh, I'll, I'll probably show you the screenshots. So, yeah, I use that on this, and it sounds amazing. Like, it has bass. The, the sub bass is good. The bass overall is great, but the highs, man, you can hear the timbre. You can hear the vocals. The separation is amazing. So, you know... Comparing to my other amps I have, the Rebel and the uh, THX, this sounds the best. And this isn't really that expensive. It's, I think it's like 250 right now. Or, or you can even buy it used, and it, it, it'll be cheaper. All you just need to do is just swap the, the op amp with the uh, Burson. That's what it sounds the best for me, you know? Now, the Rebel, I do like the sound signature it gives, but, like, just the extra over here... It just gives a more balanced sound signature, you know? It focuses on the highs and the lows, you know? Like, I could tell the difference between real and digital instrument. It's that apparent on these IEMs. Now, it could be me. Maybe I'm getting older. Maybe I'm starting to notice the difference. Or maybe it's the new equipment that I just bought. Or maybe that these IEMs aren't the typical dynamic earbud. It's actually planar earbuds. So these sound way more different from other IMs or headphones or even speakers that I've listened to. It's actually just way more clearer. Now, these IMs aren't the only planar that I own. I actually own the uh, Aeon 2 uh, Closed. And I've noticed that, you know, comparing to all these other dynamic things that I've owned, they are way more sharper and detailed. So, like I said, I don't have too much experience with IMs. I've owned a bunch of IMs. But, you know, I always replace them whenever, you know, like, oh, well, when when one breaks, you know, or I just get bored with the sound signature and just want something he to hear something different. Uh, right now, I only own two IEMs that I'm actively listening to, and that's, you know, the, the Fio Bluetooth with the Tinty 3s, pretty good IEM. I got a review on it, uh, <laughs> link below. And these. These has got to be, like, the most expensive IEM that I've owned. That sounds amazing. You know, like, the um, the Tinty 3s were the best IEMs that I've owned. Now these are. Like, these are, like, just, like, headphone quality good. Um, you know, and I say headphone quality because, you know, I don't... I, like I said, I, I don't have too much experience with IEMs. Usually IEMs are just, like... For me, you know, IEMs are, like, oh, these are, like, the baby version of headphones. But, you know, there's other IEMs that are probably as good or even better than headphones. It's just for me, you know, I'm just seeing this, like, yo, these small things are, like, as good as headphones? For me, that's crazy. <laughs> like, so, yeah, it's it's pretty odd. And I I love hearing them. These are great IEMs. Now, some of you guys are probably going to ask, like, oh, how does it sound in the feel? Can it power it? Uh, yes, it does. You just need to get the app and, you know, like, um, boost the audio. But, uh, yeah, they sound pretty good. Uh, also, ASMR approved. You know, um, you know, uh, now I will admit, I haven't really used it as much with especially ASMR and uh, the feel because look at this. It is tight. Look at this. 
look at this. You need... There we go. That's tight. So yeah, it, it's hard to remove. But when you put it in... Oh, even, even when you put it in, it's hard. There we go. But yeah, taking it off. Ah, oh, man. There we go. Look at that. Ah. Man. That's actually really hard. What the... What the fuck? So yeah. I haven't really used it on the Fio. So that means I didn't really use it ASMR, but... Uh, just for a little bit, you know, I tried it out. ASMR approved, I, I, I guess, you know. It, it, I kind of was sleepy. But yeah, ne never took it off from these uh, these cables, so I can't really say, but, you know, I, 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 did, I was a little bit sleepy when I was hearing it from this. So, uh, yeah. I just realized. It doesn't say which side this is. Okay, no, because it's the red, you see. So I guess red means right. I forgot what this was left. Okay, so this is right. Yeah. Uh, there we go. Actually, it's pretty easy to remove. I just loosen it up. That's why. Huh? Wait a minute. Nope. It's 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 harder here. Oh my god. Oh my god. That was hard to take it out. All right. So, yeah. So, to understand more about me, you know, I'm a hip-hop head. I, I love hip-hop. It's one of my favorite genres. I do diversify with other genres, but, you know, hip-hop, it's my number one. So, I used to seek out headphones that have the best bass. But as I get older, and as I, you know, buy more stuffs for this hi-fi lifestyle, you know, I, 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 I seek for more than just bass on my headphones now. And that's why I still love my Focal Elexes. Now, it's got good bass, but not too much. The bass... Quality is amazing, but it doesn't have too much bass. It's more focused on the highs. So this is a great balance of both of them. It has great bass and also great highs. So it's just like the Elex, but like, I wouldn't say better, but like, it's better for both sides. You know, it's it's great highs and lows. The sub bass is amazing. The bass, the mid bass, the highs, the vocals, the timbre. Uh, that's those are the highlights for these earbuds. They're just amazing, and I love it. Um, maybe you know, just like um, the mids are kind of like um pretty low. Like sometimes whenever I'm you know um especially when I'm playing games, they don't really appear. Sometimes they're not really good for gaming. You know, I tried playing Overwatch, and you know, it's like it's just it's just some some things just feel too quiet. You know. Especially when you're, you know, you want to hear the most accurate sounds. So, these aren't really good for gaming. But for listening music, they're really good. I love it. Um, but yeah. So yeah, highlights, great highs, great lows. Sometimes the mids aren't as good. I, I don't know. But um, they're pretty good. I love it. You know, they are close to headphone quality, depending on the amp. Like... I have this. The biggest difference is switching the op amp. So like, I'm just like thinking about like, oh wait a minute, what what else headphones or DACs I could use by switching the op amp? Would it sound better? Like um, I I I recently just bought the Un X8. I ordered it actually. I ordered it. I don't have it yet. It's coming. So I'm thinking like, oh, how is it gonna sound if I, you know, switch that op amp? And use the Rebel. Is that going to sound better? I don't know. But, you know, I'll, I'll do a review on that and then try it on this. So, yeah. So the sound can depend on whatever DAC or amp you're using, you know. Like, it, it really does truly sound different, you know, with the three amps I own, you know. So, yeah, and like I said, uh, I'm getting a new uh, DAC, so maybe it might sound even different. So, uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited <laughs> for this Oon to come. So, uh, yeah, that's all I got to say. I highly recommend it. Really good. If, if, if you've been buying cheap, um, you know, IEMs your entire life and you're like, man, I don't want to get headphones no more. Um, especially right now with the summer. Oh my God. My headphones, they, the, um, uh, the pads are just soaked. They're smelling because of my, because of my sweat, man. But I'm like, damn, man. 
maybe I should get more IEMs <laughs> because you know, like you, you don't get the sweat with the the pads you have for your headphones. You know, they're starting to smell. I gotta wash them, or I just gotta find a replacement. I don't want to discuss too much. You probably discussed it, but uh, yeah, it's like oh, these are great for like the summer. You know, like these are great. So um, yeah. Highly recommend it. So, uh, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, subscribe. Follow me on TikTok and Twitter so you can keep up to date and watch all my other videos. And, uh, yeah. Bye.